Hey there you guys, this is Nick. Welcome to Turnip Pad Art. And today I'm kind of challenging myself. I've, I've thrown down the brush pen. I won't be touching it at all in this piece. I've been relying far too heavily on it. Um, I've been focusing on very high contrast, hard, hard edges, a lot of just black and white pieces. And that looks great sometimes, but I think I've been doing it a little too much. I've been using the brush brush pen for a year and doing pieces with it almost daily. So I decided to lean away from that a bit and focus on my pencils a little. So today I'm challenging myself to get a piece done in an hour. Now, I don't usually time myself or... In general, I don't time myself unless it's a commission, in which case I do kind of try to do things in a timely manner, because if you're making $40 on a piece that takes you eight hours, you're not even making minimum wage, and it's not worth it. So there's definitely ways to expedite processes, but in general, when I'm just doing things for a video or for my own amusement and enjoyment, I don't time myself. It's just something I do just to enjoy myself. But this piece, I'm challenging myself because I haven't really used my pencils in a while. Uh, I do use a, a lead holder whenever I'm sketching and then I use a brush pen to ink it. But I'm using Prismacolor color pencils in this one. I've got two color erased pencils, a red and a blue. I put down the red first because it's a little lighter. Then I put the blue on top of it to, to you know, pick out the, the marks that I want to rely most heavily on. And it's a little darker. And then I work my way up to the black colored pencil for the line art and shading. Um, but this is a piece, it's from Witcher 3. This is a Geralt, but um, it's more of a chibi version. Because there's no way I could realize a fully rendered piece of him in my time allowance. So I found several references from the game. I did play it a little bit. And I even considered putting an Al Ghul or maybe Siri in the piece with him. But I realized that doing just him in the picture, just a, a picture of him just standing there would take me almost my full time allowance. It ultimately did did take about 45 minutes just to draw him. And in this style, it's a lot simpler and it just it would it wouldn't have worked if I'd tried to be m more than this. And I really didn't want to fail. I wanted to see what I could do in the time, but I didn't want something incomplete when the time expired. So I've got this piece. Um, I had several references up. I also found a picture of a Funko Pop uh, figure. It was actually a set, but a figure of him. And I, I like the proportions, so I kind of borrowed the proportions from that picture. I really like the way those things look. I've got several different figures myself, and he's not one of them. But I have some Harry, po Harry Potter ones. I've got some... Bendy and the Ink Machine ones. I've got a couple Five Nights at Freddy ones. There, there's obviously Minecraft ones that I've gotten from my kids and from a couple people who send them to me. But ultimately, I found this set with Geralt and Siri and Yennefer, and I loved it. I mean, I'm probably going to buy it. But I also like the look of the set because... It also came with a little wooden bathtub <laughs> that you can have Geralt in, like the very risky scene from the game. And I thought it was funny because the proportions make it look very cartoony, and it was it, it was just it was it was just funny to me. 
but I, I went ahead and used those proportions for this piece. And the reason I picked him is I feel like I relate to him a lot. He's kind of a father figure following the travels of a girl that he essentially raised, it seemed like. And maybe I missed something in the game. Maybe he didn't. But that's what I felt. That's what I saw. And he's trying to follow Siri and track her down because, you know, he's got that the fatherly feelings and the, the sense of responsibility. And I really relate to that. But that's the piece. And if you liked it, let me know. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Comment and let me know what I'm doing right. And definitely comment and let me know what I'm doing wrong. Because I absolutely want to make the best quality content that I can for you guys. And the best way for me to know what that is, is for you guys to tell me. So if you do... I really appreciate the comment, and if you sub, I promise I'll have at least one video out a week, sometimes two, maybe even three if I decide to start producing my warm-up videos again. But absolutely, I will get one out a week. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Thanks for watching, and always remember, you are awesome.